We're here today at the airfield with the brand new UMX Citation Longitude. The beauty of this plane, first of all, is its beauty. It's just a really good looking personal jet, private jet kind of airplane. Uh, something that I've never flown in, but sure would love to someday. So we're gonna dream while flying on the ground of owning our own private jet like this. It's a twin EDF electric RC jet. Um, the favorite thing for me with a little UMX plane like this is that it comes out of the box like this. You don't have to put anything together. UMX has these amazing looking planes and I think this is probably one of, if not their best looking plane now. And it just comes out of the box like this. You don't have to put a thing on it. All you do, and it takes about a minute, is plug in a battery and bind it to your favorite spectrum radio. Now it's, you may be able to hear, it's quite windy right now. This has a lot of power. From what I've seen, it can really fight through the wind. And it also has safe, which keeps us nice and stable while in the air. I'm not really worried about flying this in the wind very much, and I'm excited to show you guys what the lights look like. I have already had it plugged in. We've done a little bit with it, and uh, it looks good. So let's power on with our, this is really cool. This is uh, just held on with rare earth magnets. You just pull up on what looks like a little antenna there. It's a little pull tab. And then I would recommend very strongly the battery that we're using. We'll have a link in the description box below. I've done a little bit of testing with this plane and the original batteries that I used just did not hold up in comparison to these. The important thing to know is the battery that we have linked is the one you should fly on to get the best performance. Today's video is gonna be a maiden for you guys. I'll be honest though, I've flown it a couple of times and it flies great, but we're gonna call this our official maiden for the channel. So without further ado, we're gonna power on the radio, plug the plane in, get a couple close looks at it on the ground, then we'll get it in the air. Now this plane can do grass takeoffs. We have done it in the past. Nate said he's done a couple flights off camera of this, uh, but today he did that hand launch because our field is like waterlogged because it's rained so much lately. Like uh, this is just a break in the weather. It's been raining all day and we finally got like an hour break in the weather. Yeah, and wind or no wind, I just had to fly. I've been stuck inside looking out the window all day. Now. This is a rough, windy day for this to have a maiden. But because of safe technology paired with AS3X, this thing flies like a huge plane. You're gonna see a little bit of rocking in the wings, but not much because of the AS3X keeping it nice and smooth. Right now, I can use my right stick to bank as far as I want, and it just won't roll over because safe is on. The lights look so good on that pass. Now I did not mention in the beginning of the video, this plane does have, it flies on a 3S battery. A lot of these little UMX planes fly on a 2S pack. So again, the battery that I've got linked down below is the one that I strongly recommend for the best flight time and performance. This is just a cruising speed. I want to do a high speed pass on this next one. Are you ready, Abby? Yep. So we're going to get it back here, nice and wide. And now we're full throttle. There's full throttle. It's quick. <laughs> it screams too. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, I'll be quiet on the next pass. It's a very fast little plane, you ready? Yep. Full throttle. Beautiful little jet. I mean, just one of the coolest looking jets out there. The lights on Oops. this, the attention to detail, right in front of us. I know it's hard to track, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's a white airplane and Abby's looking at a two inch screen with know, white clouds. White gray clouds. Yeah, but for me, I've got no problem seeing it. <laughs> Orientation is great on this. You turned too soon. Yeah, I wasn't I did, ready I for that. You don't quick. do that. <laughs> it's nice and low and fast. You did. Now, although this is a jet, you can cruise it. This is with some wind here, guys, but we can slow it down and keep it in what I'd like to call about a ballpark um, area space to fly or even less, you know, using a little bit more elevator to get us through those banks. But we could fly this at a soccer field, no problem. I really like this jet, just 
mainly for the way it looks because I don't have anything in my lineup that looks like this at any scale. That wind is knocking it like crazy, but safe is keeping us true and, uh, you know, a really straight flight line. I'm not having to fight this at all. I'm worried about it because it's a little airplane and I'm flying in a ton of wind right now, but it's doing good. It's surprisingly fighting this wind really, really well. I don't think I'd fly most of my other small UMX planes in this amount of wind, but this one's handling it no problem. Now that pulsing of the motor that we're hearing, I think is telling us that we're getting close to a low battery. I would expect about a five to seven minute flight time on this. I may be wrong about that because I don't hear it now. Could have just been the RPMs that I was uh, sitting at. Yeah, I think so. I really want to take it out of safe for you guys, show you a few maneuvers like loops and rolls. And I think I'll do that probably on my next pack. I want to fly two batteries with you guys today. So after this flight, we're going to liven it up a little bit more. Hear that? It sounds like a pulsing, which would be a low battery, but I don't think we're quite there. I think it's just that funny little RPM that I was cruising at, which was about 40%. So this whole flight right now, other than when I was doing the full throttle passes, is about 50%. I'm just cruising around in all this wind and about 50% throttle. Whoo, a little low. low. <laughs> I like to fly low and fast with most of my stuff now. I, I could fly up super high with this if I wanted to. People like to ask, you know, what the range is on something like this. It's farther than you can see line of sight. You really shouldn't break line of sight when you're flying your airplanes. Boy, this wind is knocking it. <laughs> oh man. It's fun though. I've been dying to fly this. Finally got the good batteries in and it's performing really, really nicely now. You know what? We're going to take it out of safe over Death Valley and I'm going to do a roll. So safe is off, there's a roll, and let's go right into a loop. And we'll kick safe back on because of this wind. He's off on the throttle. It did it really well. We'll do that again, one more pass out there, the same, oh! Jeez! <laughs> I was bracing, I was bracing for impact. <laughs> there we go, we're gonna take it out of safe. Are you ready, Abby? We'll do a roll, and now a loop. You'd hope that your private Jet would never do this, but hey, it can. It flies well. We're going to keep it out of safe on this next pass. A little higher up, just getting a feel for it. Flies just as good, if not, if not more fun, just because we're not limited. That's my five minute timer that just went off. We'll do another roll and we'll go one more loop out here and we'll kick safe on. I'm getting a little bit blinded. The sun's coming out and I don't have my sunglasses on. It's flying really good. So much better on these batteries, let me tell you. Now I know we're calling this a maiden, but I've flown this maybe three or four times and with the other batteries that I was using. They were bad batteries. I got about a two and a half minute flight time. So really, when we make a battery recommendation to you guys, it's not just a, a random guess. You know, we are trying to we want, I want you guys to have good experience. This jet, you can fly a variety of batteries in here, right? It's a JST plug, which is awesome. But if you get a bad brand or a bad batch of batteries, you're going to get from a two and a half minute flight all the way up to what we're getting now is I'm at six minutes. That's a big difference. And they were both new batteries. Uh, this one that I'm flying on is the first time I've flown on this one. And, uh, Obviously, it's just way, way, way better, way better. So yeah, we do re make recommendations on accessories with the things that we feature on our channel. Uh, a lot of times we recommend our favorite battery to go along with something, and that goes a long way, guys. We've flown and driven RCs now for about seven years straight, at least something every week, if not more often. And so when we make a battery recommendation, it's a lot of times just learning from um, trial and error. And I think we've zeroed it in now, you know, this oh, one yeah. especially. You're almost at seven minutes. I may not even have to fly this a second time for you guys. We're getting such a long flight on this one battery. I was expecting a five minute flight, five minute uh, flight time. But since we're pushing seven minutes, maybe a little longer, this one battery may be enough for our maiden. And I did get it out of safe out there, there over go. Death Valley. No, not yet. 
So when I'm cruising at about 45% throttle, it does the it does pulsing. that little pulsing, like wah, 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 wah. How? I think that's just the two motors. Can you Not, no. can you demonstrate that I'm noise to get again? It closer. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> What a cool little jet though, right? It looks really good in the air. Do you like how it looks below the tree line or above? With the white clouds right now, it looks better below the yeah, tree line. Because you can see the profile, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. This thing looks sweet. It has so many lights, you could easily fly this late in the day too. I'm keeping this puppy really close to the ground. All right, we're gonna do a high speed pass again and see if we can get that low battery indicator. I'll get one more high speed pass out here. This is a very impressive flight time for this little. We'll zoom all play. the way out on this one for there you guys. Go. Full throttle. We'll keep it full throttle through this whole pass. Over the power lines, over the shed. You're so brave with that. Now, here we go, full <laughs> throttle. A little low to the ground, but I know, we'll keep it looks it one more time full closer throttle. Closer than what it actually We're over was. Over the building now. That thing books it on turns, oh, watching yeah, it with my own eyes. Sweet, huh? Oh Did yeah. You track it. I had it zoomed out for him. Okay, that's good. So I was watching it myself. <laughs> there's uh, three full throttle passes after flying on this battery for eight minutes, and we're still not getting a low battery indicator. This is awesome. It's way better than I was expecting. <clears throat> Very sweet little plane. Just unique and looks so good. Oh. The wind got me. That was a tip stall. <gasps> Are you running out of juice? No, the you're wind just, is the you're wind just flying up that low. Kicking, yeah, I just so like so scary. Low. You're so brave. <laughs> All I see is a foam explosion when you no, fly that no, low. No, no, no. These things are surprisingly tough too, Abby. They've come foam has come so far. There's a lot of guys that believe foam will just disintegrate when you touch the ground, and it used to, you know, five or six years ago. But now foam has come so far and is so durable and so repairable if it does break. These things are, I hate seeing, I, I almost never see anybody crash a foam plane and then throw it away because with 10 cents of hot glue, you can get it back in the air. How's your inverted flight with this? I'll try it. We'll go out over Death Valley and go inverted. You're so at nine and a half safe minutes. Is off. Let's get it to where I can actually see it. I wish I had my sunglasses on. There's inverted. We're upside down, but I need to kick it back over so I threw safe on. <laughs> I held it. I'll get it a little better this next pass if I still have juice, okay? Yep. We're going to climb higher, get a better approach. I'll roll into inverted. Okay. And we're inverted now, and I'm holding a lot of up elevator, but it does it. Does it okay? See if I can get through a bank? No, I cannot. Oh, <laughs> And it saved me. I'm sure, now you can see the wingtips have that little curve going up, the little bit of dihedral. So that really doesn't want, you know, it doesn't want to fly inverted, but I'd say on a straight pass, you can hold the inverted like I was doing, no problem. But I wouldn't want to bank through curves inverted like I, like I did and failed. And I was giving almost full elevators, so. That's a sweet profile. This jet, when it banks, there it is. There you There's go. a real pulse. Let's listen. You guys hear that? That's the low battery. That's the low battery warning. So we're going to land it and it's going to probably get super wet. We're going to bring it around this way and just bring it in. Oh, there's complete no battery. That's fine. All right, that's okay. I lost all power except for the ability to steer. So, so you got you, like 20 seconds to land once you hear that warning. Yeah, that's basically. fair enough. Yeah. I could have done it, but I was doing my figure eights. And, and the grass is tall and it's wet out, so you're not gonna get a good landing on. Oh, uh, that on was this a pretty rough landing. Yeah. Today. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's more like it, Abby. That's amazing. So, just a little behind-the-scenes candid moment for you guys. You know, when we were first dealing with this and took it out to fly a couple times and got that two and a half minute flight time. That was the big thing that I said, well, this is an awesome plane, but two and a half minutes, I mean, come on, we can do better. Now we're getting 11 minutes yeah. and I was I was cooking it on a few of those passes. And in we total. narrowed it down that we had bad batteries. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yep. It was all about the batteries. I mean, obviously this isn't anything crazy special. It's only an 800 milliamp battery, 3S but you want to get the right battery, the right brand for performance. I wish 
Spectrum smart batteries existed at this size, but they do not, at least not yet. That is a new technology we have on our hands. I would love to be telling you guys that's what you should be buying, but unfortunately that's not the case on this battery. If you're gonna get this jet, this airplane, get the batteries we recommend. We'll have a link in the description box below. Overall though, this thing is just beautiful. I'm not afraid to fly it in a little bit of rain or after raining like this with the field being so wet because all of our electronics are completely enclosed. These are brushless motors. They can handle a little water. Just air dry it out when you get back home. If you do have any water, you don't want your landing gear to get rusty or anything. And I'll tell you what, we've got some plans for this little jet. I do want to feature it on the channel at least one more time because it's so much fun, it's so impressive, and it just looks so cool. I love all the little lights on here. Did you see the, the light underneath here? Oh no, the I didn't see that The light up the runway? One. How cool is that? I mean, yeah, that's cool. so awesome. Is that considered your landing light? I don't yeah. know, I like it. Yeah, I think so, when they're coming in. That's light cool. Up. Very, very cool. Very cool, lights all over. The scale look of this, this is one of those RCs that I hope some of you, at least all of you that buy it, fly it once. But I know some of you guys are gonna buy this to just put on the shelf and look at it because it's so beautiful. It comes out of the box just like this. You plug in a battery and you got your lights going. If you just wanted to have a cool showpiece, family comes over, friends are over, and you want these lights to be glowing, you never even have to bind this up to a radio. And some of you guys are probably thinking, you're crazy, Nate, nobody does that. Trust me, I know a lot of people that buy stuff like this, RC trucks and Jeeps and planes and helicopters even, they never fly them, not a single time. They just proudly put them on display. This is a jet that I would do that with. It doesn't take up much space. It looks amazing. You've got chrome on here. It's just a very good looking plane. And when you get it out at the airfield, people are gonna to wanna to know about it. You've got aileron control. I didn't talk about this in the video yet. Rudder control, your elevator. The really cool thing about the elevator is the entire surface moves. This is now, I believe, the third airplane ever that I own out of the fleet. Uh, that has the entire control surface that moves and I love that. And it's one of the only ones with the elevator like top mounted on the rudder That's instead exactly of right. on the bottom, That's which exactly is really right. cool too. That makes it very unique. Yeah. Um, does our steering wheel move? I can't. Yes, it does. I couldn't remember, but the front wheel does move. That's great. Very cool like, there's setup. even the door. There's even the door right there, like in the decals, like for the passengers to get and on. And you've got all the extra, the, the two wheels back here. Do you see it on the decals, the little yeah, door? Of course. Yeah, of So cool. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There's one in the back too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Such a cool setup, like guys. It. I'm a huge fan, and as long as you get the right battery, I give it two giant thumbs up. But please, 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 if you're gonna buy this, or you know a friend that bought it, tell them about our video, at the very least, so they can find the battery recommendation linked below. I'm so grateful that we got out to fly today, and I say that a lot because it's rainy season right now, but for the last like three days straight, it has rained nonstop. It's like monsoon season right now, it's been it is. crazy. And, and I know you guys don't know this without me saying it, but this is the third attempt we've brought this airplane to the airfield specifically just to fly this for you guys. It's been raining nonstop. We leave the house, break in weather, and then boom, rain when we get to the airfield. We look it up on the phone and it's like, geez, we got an hour and a half of, yeah. of, uh, of rain. So It actually started raining on the way here and I was like, no, we're committed. Yep. We're going to sit up at the airfield and wait. <laughs> and we got to fly. So for that, I thank God because I've been going stir crazy needing to fly so badly. I also want to say a huge thanks to all of our Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Some of you above and beyond, but for every single person that's donating just a dollar or more, we sincerely thank you. We also thank everyone that watches our videos. Every single one of you that made it this far, gave us a like or even a dislike, you're awesome. But our Patreon supporters above and beyond, especially right now, we thank you guys so much. All the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. I'd love for you to check out another one of our UMX plane videos. We love these little guys. The ones that we've had on the channel have been very amazing, very impressive so far. And one of those videos will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.